Hey there, how are you doing team? Uh, Gadgetox here and welcome you all to a very interesting video. In this video, we will tell you how Android 8.0 Oreo improves your Android user experience. As you know, Android 8.0 Oreo is the latest Android iteration which has been made public by Google and it should be heading to your devices very soon, obviously depending upon how your uh, devices manufacturer uh, takes the uh, update and tests it and then passes it on to you. So, uh, why we will focus on the major changes and the or the user improvement or usability changes uh, which are there with android 8.0 oreo and when we say that we will obviously talk about every major thing that android oreo brings we will also talk a bit about the under the hood changes which come with android oreo which will improve your user experience so starting with the ui changes if you just talk about the launcher there are not many changes here as you can notice so let me just tell you that this is a nokia 5 which comes with Android 7.1.1 out of the box and this is Nexus 5X which runs uh, the latest build of Android Oreo. Now if you talk about just the launcher, no, obviously you can notice that not much has changed. This is similar behavior that you will see. Similar app drawer. So just talking about the launcher, you would not notice many changes. <clears throat> what? And I mean, we'll start noticing changes when you go to the action center, the notification center. Now you will notice lots of changes. So as you can notice, the action center has been revamped. It's a like kind of complete uh, revamp. So all these uh, buttons, which were like edit, settings, profile, it has been moved to uh, bottom of the action center. The icons have changed, the color, the background look have been changed and it's mostly to make it, uh, decla to declutter it and make it uh, look, you know, better. So it obviously looks bit slightly better than what it used to be, but uh, many may still like the feel of this uh, dark look, darkish action center, which was on Android Nougat. Many may like this kind of action center, but if you ask me, I would rather uh, let me decide or let a user decide what kind of action center theme he likes. So maybe if I like it should be uh, dark or light, but obviously what it is, it is here. You can notice it. You can see it. So basically, as I said, uh, I mean, this action center has been revamped, lots of changes. Now, if I go to the notifications particularly, so uh, there are like uh, many changes or many new features which are there uh, for the app notifications. So here you will notice one extra schedule kind of icon. So if you tap on that, you can see that you can notice a snooze on notification or snooze on apps notification for some uh, some time being. So like one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, two hours, etc. You can snooze it. Similarly for, I can do that. I can undo it as well. Here you can see that I can do many, much more with uh, notifications disabling enabling then i can go to more settings when i go to here you will notice many more changes in terms of apps notification so if you go to apps notification you can see allow notification dot so if notification comes you will on the apps icon you will see a dot so i can do i can allow or disallow that here you can also uh, just enable or disable apps notifications you can also set it to override do, do not disturb if you set it so these are the changes that you can easily notice from uh, the action center notification center. Now, if I now go to another part, the settings, there also you will notice lots of differences. I mean, uh, the focus of Android Oreo has been to declutter the interface. So this is Nougat and this is Oreo. Now you can notice how the, you know, uh, how imposing or how intimidating the settings uh, interface was earlier on Nogat. All the settings were like, it's a big page, which you can scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. And you can actually notice that it was obviously imposing or intimidating, but now it has been made sort of clutter free. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a smart change that I would mention. So lots of menus here, they have been uh, collated under the I mean, lots of sub menus have been collated under a big menu. So here you had seen wireless and networks. Here you will see network and internet, but you would not see the scattered uh, different sub menus. For checking the sub menus, you have to go to network and internet. This is obviously a smart change. You don't, as I said, it's not intimidating or very long scroll. So when you come here, you can now notice all the different options. 
so this was for the network internet if you go to other like device and display so now you can notice another change so not only there are sub menus here also within like under this display menu many options are under this advanced so here as i said uh, if you go to like display then you have seen a, again a big menu kind of which you have to scroll and go so here you don't need to go there or don't need to zoom, see many things at one glance if you want you can go to advanced so this is again a smart change as i said so better change for improving your usability or android user experience so as i said the focus of warrior has been on improving the android user experience and everywhere from uh, the action center to notification to settings or everywhere you will see this kind of thing this kind of feel so now let me go back settings home so even the setting home looks very much kind of uh, very much well arranged in oreo as compared to here so now if i go to the battery so here you will again notice a bit of difference in how the battery battery page appears so again clutter free and uh, the settings are there which are like you can just toggle them to go to the battery server battery percentage etc if you tap on the battery icon then you go to a similar page which was there on and white logout so again lots of improvement and this this is kind of a theme here so for earlier if you needed to uh, check a system update let's say so it was a bit tricky so you have to go to settings home from there you needed to go about phone and then check here it's all clipped i mean kind of collated under or put under system so you go to system and just you can check system updates developer options so it's clearly mentioned here so it's all a nice touch for me if you ask now let's uh, let me quickly tell you some important changes which have arrived for apps notifications i had shown you one more one change and i'll show you more changes here so if you go to apps app info so if i go to this google allow so here you can see the app notifications not only you can enable or disable notification dot but also there are categories so the all the categories of different kind of notifications on categorize chat solution contact update etc are available which you can disable or enable depending upon whether you want a notification with that or not so this is very very uh, you know neat and useful thing that you can control the notification even to the level of categories of notification now going back there are some more changes which i would like to show it to you so if we go to an app like vlc here is that i wanted to show it to you so there is one more very interesting feature which has arrived is a kind of multitasking feature which is called picture in picture so how it works like that if you are using a, an app uh, which has this capability of picture in picture so let's say you move away from the app but still there will be a small box which will be which will uh, feature there the app which you are using so let's say you are watching a video in vlc so it it is have a feature of display over other apps okay let me quickly show it to you what i mean So this is called picture in picture mode so you will try but it will not work as for now so let's say you were watching a video in uh, on youtube and if you move and move away or like uh, i mean kind of swap to another app but still there the video of youtube should keep uh, showing there so i will just show you a demo of that what i'm talking about but i'll just uh, because before telling you i should tell you that this picture in picture though here you can see that it's enabled it does not work so google need to do uh, some kind of you know work with developers so that more and more developers can enable this feature in their apps so currently i can just demo it with help of vlc app
So let's quickly check it how it works like. So now you can see that the VLC is playing in a small window here. Even if I am on home screen, but still if you want, I can see that VLC uh, this in the small window VLC is playing so and this crashed. So obviously it's a kind of a beta implementation of VLC as well. So this is picture in picture mode. So in a way, if it is enabled, it will allow you to keep working with other apps while the app that you had uh, been using will show it there in a small window. So this is a very neat feature which has arrived with Android Oreo, but it's very like it's early days. So it has not been implemented much. One more feature that I would like to show it to you is that when you uh, like now with the notification, the notification pick a kind of color, background color. So different notification from the same app can have different colors. So uh, I just wanted to show an example of that. So let's go to Google Music. So as the music starts playing and you can see the album art, so this is the album art of this. So now if you go here, if you go to the notification center, interestingly, now you will see that this music, the whole small music player and the notification part, which is made there in that notification center will have the same album background, album art background. If you go to the lock screen, the lock screen will also show you the same album art background so it's a kind of a neat feature and visually appealing so these were the major changes or major visible or noticeable changes that android oreo brings over the android nougat you, we talked about ui changes we talked about how the overall user experience have been improved or has been changed for like decluttering of action center decluttering of settings etc and then there are lots of new features in apps notifications you see the picture in picture mode we, i would also like to talk about a very interesting feature which is text selection it's a kind of that google uh, it's a kind of feature which is which i would really like to have and google has work, worked on that and which is very very good so let's say that if i want uh, like i i am doing a text selection so this feature is dependent upon the like a kind of machine learning which google is using in their apps so i would just try to demo it to you so that you understand it properly so let's say if there is a phone number in some mail which i am using if i just go and copy it so now you see that not only i see copy and share options and other, another option like select all web search I also see option of phone. So by using machine learning, my phone or this uh, Android Oreo recognizes that I am copy, trying to copy a phone number. And it gives me an option to directly call this. So this is quite a quite an interesting a good feature which obviously enhances a lot i mean it does a lot to enhance your user uh, experience not only this not only the phone number that you can select as i said you can also pick an address or something and it will show you relevant option so it will show you relevant option related to that if it is address it will show you other options Kind of so this is how uh, this uh, smart text selection works but this is also a very very interesting feature so we talked about those features which you can actually notice and which are there with android oreo let's quickly talk about the under the hood changes so under the hood google has tried many many uh, try to you know change what it calls android vitals so what are like vitals so they're like they have changed how apps back uh, work in background how the battery life is kind of uh, battery life is impacted by that so in a way your battery life will be much better with android oreo because google has made many changes under the hood the system will perform better 
it's much more optimized than it was it ever was even on nogat nogat was itself very optimized but even for a like a device with uh, l- less memory and uh, the processor which are not very very capable still it will work better because it has worked on the vitals which are like as i said the vitals are more like how the system is optimized how the performance is how the background uh, how in the background the apps we have so it all helps in getting better performance and much better battery life so this is uh, what and how android oreo actually improves your android user experience so with that we come to end of this video hope you have liked the video where we have compared android oreo to android nougat and we also told you how it overall improves your user experience so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more interesting videos